Well, 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 what do we have here? A classic, the iPod Touch, fourth generation. What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions, and this is my new series I call Throwback Thursday. And today, guys, I'm revisiting an old classic, fourth generation iPod Touch. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So in 2010, Apple released their most popular 8 gigabyte iPod Touch, which offer a music player, a video camera, and a portable gaming player, all in one single unit. So let me go ahead on to show you guys the specs of the iPod Touch. So let's go to look at the design of the iPod Touch. It had a very sleek design with only 7.2 millimeters thin with a gorgeous stainless steel back that gives you a clean look and provide excellent durability. Overall, this device looks beautiful. So shots out to Apple for always making a well-built device. Let's look at the display of the iPod Touch. It is a beautiful 3.5 inch retina display with a resolution of 960 by 640. At that time, that display was great. Apple claims that the retina display has so many pixels that the human eye can't even see. But I do have to say that the display was good at the time. Let's talk about the performance of the iPod Touch. It's running the A4 processor, the same processor that's found in the iPhone 4 and the iPad. It was very good and a very snappy performer. As of 2017, the iPod Touch 4th generation is stuck on iOS 6.1.6 .6 with no updates available. But overall, it's still a pretty snappy performer even in 2017. How about the cameras on the iPod Touch? It's running a 0.9 megapixel rear and a VGA front facing camera. As you can see at the time, it was okay. The photos are not the best, but for the iPod Touch back in 2010, it was okay. Let's talk about the battery life with the iPod Touch. The battery life on paper will give you 40 hours of music and seven hours of video playback. As of now, I might get 10 hours of music and maybe two hours of video playback and on screen time. And maybe one day I will bring this device to Apple to get the battery replaced. But as of now, the battery life on the, the iPod Touch is very limited to maybe two hours of on screen time. So here's my conclusion. The iPod Touch was a great music player and I wish Apple would still continue to release more iPod Touches because everybody don't need cellular data. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the iPod Touch in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.